All right, gang, welcome back, Magic fans and all those beautiful people out there. This is your captain speaking here on Captain Clive's MTG. We are here to give you the evaluation and what I think about set boosters for Ixalan, the Lost Caverns. Before we get started, don't forget, comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, subscription button's right here. Uh, links below in the description right down here. Uh, eBay, TCG player, go buy these cards while they're on there, help support the channel. Also, there's Patreon, email, reach out and say hey, hey. Um, so, we're also on Rumble. Don't forget, Rumble. Check us out on Rumble. Give me a like. So, a lot to go over here. Let's go over the basics. Obviously, simple rules. Uh, I, don't do com I don't do commons or uncommons, even if they're worth money, because it's too hard to track and the prices change sporadically. And if it's $2 or less from a rare or higher, I just give it a flat dollar bulk rate, and we move on from there. And yeah, basically it. So, let's go through everything first and then I'll give you my thoughts. So, first things first, let's go through these special inserts here. So, here are the special inserts. Um, only got five, so it's less than one per box as far as these little stars go. Uh, but they're pretty good. Uh, one Bridge, Carnage Timer is the best, obviously. A Kamax, a Dargo. The Dargo is an uncommon, so it wasn't so hot. Only four rares. Um, but in okay. This, this is what the list should be, in my opinion. Uh, let's go with that since we're on the subject. This is what the list should be. Because as far as the list goes, like every set like this, the list is just trash. Uh, I got a Spellstarter Sprite, one Cavalier, a Questing Beast, and a Minsk. So if you compare that, we take out the uncommon that's in here that's actually worth money because it's worth more than a, more than $2. Uh, you have four cards, no other ones, no extra chaff from the list, and this group of cards is worth more than this group of cards. And that's just how it is. So this should be the new list item and just get rid of the list. I'm sick of it. Just, just stop, please. For the love of God, just stop. All right. And we have the other insert cards. Um, oh, there's the other. Sorry, there was one per box. I forgot the bridge from below. Did I put any other ones in here by accident? I did not. Okay. So anyway, let me go back to this again. So, like I said, um, well, still five. You take this out. But with that in there, one per box. You get one of these per box. Sweet. That is the ideal list for me. This, no. No, 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 no. Anyway, moving on. So we have the other insert. Um... Which wasn't too bad. Uh, I mean, nothing really special in here. I mean, there are Mythics and there's Rares. I mean, Mint of Axe, okay. Whisper Silk. I mean, a lot of this is kind of the box topper insert stuff. Um, again, there's another, you know, another Palaton. We did get a Coat of Arms. That was a real good hit. Um, pickaxe. Uh, Course of Portal was okay. Uh, but in the long, long and short of it, this felt like the weak side of the list and I'm okay with that because they're actually value here there's two dollars or more um combine I mean you have yeah we'll, so we'll go on that later but anyway so we had a little bit there and then for mythics we had three foil mythics which were these not not terrible they're actually pretty good mythic hits for foils and then we had these here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 9, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 15, 35, plus these three, uh, 38 mythics, roughly six per box, not counting all the you know mythics here, mythics here, mythics here, whatever. Uh, so around six to seven per box. Eh. Uh, and again, I want to, we talked about this during the box opening series. I'm going to go through this, and I want you to pay attention. One Cavern of Souls. So, did you notice that? One Cavern of Souls. There were no Caverns of Souls in my draft boxes, and I opened six. And again, average of six Mythics per box. This, to me, confirms the theory that high dollar reprints are put in, even if they say Mythic, they don't put them on the sheet like they do the rest of the Mythics. Because if you look in here... You can say something different all you want, but this card, I have at least two to three of these. And that includes the draft. This includes draft boxes. 
including draft boxes, I have one Cavern of Souls. Twelve boxes. And if you look just in these six boxes, um, you can see all these cards repeat. They almost every single card repeats. Right? Look at this. I mean, a couple of these, a couple of those. This is a, uh, a $10 card. This is like a $20 card. It repeats. Why does this one not repeat? It doesn't make sense. And we can say that, oh, it's just a mathematical impoverty, in, 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 uh, impossibility. But in 12 boxes, it's not. That's a pattern. And that's my serious issue with wizards in general, not even the set boxes. The set box, it has no effect on the set boxes. This is wizards purposely skewing their track printing to make something happen to try to get people to keep buying boxes because you don't get a lot of these. Um, and I think it's going to backfire on them because it's chasing people away from the game. Um, anyway, we talked about that already. We have our foil rares. Uh, we hit a one tide binder, which was kind of which is okay. Uh, the rest are pretty much just eh. All the rares are here. This being one of the best rares, um, I kind of called it in my quick pick video. I didn't give it number one, but I probably should have. Um, it's running around fourteen to eighteen dollars. It's going up and down. You know how the price is. Um, I think at the time of this video, it was sixteen. Over the course of the box openings, it was as low as fourteen. I think as high as eighteen once. Uh, so you have that, which is fine. And then you have the dinosaur stuff. Really, really cool dinosaur stuff. And it's worth a decent penny. Some of it's expensive, like you know, Welcome to. That's an expensive dinosaur card. Um, but the things that people are pissed about, these lands being in here. Uh, 1, 2, so 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19 cards. If you take the lands out, 1, 2, 3, 4, land, 5, 6, 6 lands come out. Then if we go in and we take out these tokens, 1, 2, only 2 tokens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Almost 2 cards per box if you take all these out. And back to the Cavern of Souls talk, this is a rare. This is a rare. This is a rare. All these are rares no matter what. However... These special insert cards, look what I got two of in six boxes, but not two Cavern of Souls. Again, something else that shows mathematical improbability of the fact that there should be more Cavern of Souls pulls than what I actually got in this set. And it just makes no sense to me. And we can argue the numbers all day long, but until Wizards will actually show us what their print sheet looks like, which they won't for probably this precise reason, I don't think this is represented properly on their print sheet it's just not i mean you can open old boxes of the set this was originally in and i think it was innistrad i don't remember anyway but the point being you can get one cavern of soul per box i got one cavern of soul in 12 that doesn't happen even in the old sets you'll get a cavern of soul every box almost so it's really shady and really shitty what they've done now with that being said Aside from wizards being money-grubbing assholes who are just ruining this game, what's the set value of these cards? Um, so here's the handy-dandy notebook. As you can see, we have 131, 147, 178, 88, 99, 129. So <clears throat> the average is 128. Boxes are currently going for 134 for set. So again, you're already going to lose money if you buy a set box to try to open it, which is why... No one will crack or do mass box openings, with it, which is why the card prices should be higher, but they're not, um, which doesn't make any sense other than the people who want the cards are buying them cheap because there's not enough people in demand to make the cards as high as they should be because things like this are chasing people away from the game. And you may ask yourself, I'm going you, to ask you one question, where do you think out of all these prices uh, is the box I pulled the Cavern of Souls? If you guessed the highest box at 178, you would be correct. That is the box where I hit everything. Cavern of Souls was hit. Look, 64, 61, 
$48 worth of dinos. Everything in this box was golden. The rest of these boxes, not so much. The dinos had a pretty good cost, but once you get over here, you know, you get lands and nothing else, a $3 worth of dinos, $10 because you got lands and nothing else. Um, it's just really weird. And if you look at this, it's clear that 64, the high number, 64, 60, uh, are in the mythic slot. 129, uh, the high number was in the rare slot. But if you look at the rares, 68, 61, 42, 51, 40, 61, why is it so sporadic? Well, it's actually rather simple. Any of the ones that had high numbers had one of these in it. Because like I said, it's anywhere from a 14 to $18 card, so it skews the rare value in the rare slot, which is good because you need rares worth money. But the rest of the mythics and stuff really aren't unless you hit things like Cavern of Souls. And if you don't, then you're going to have bad bad box values. So right now, these set boxes are selling for $134 as of filming this video online, not including tax. The best you're going to get is $128, so you're guaranteed to lose 10% of your money. And then you have 20% in selling fees, so if you buy a box with hope to sell any of it, uh, you're going to lose 30% right off the top. So uh, you're going to piss away $30 by buying a set booster. Now, that being said, you shouldn't, shouldn't be able to open a box and make money off of it. That doesn't make any sense. However, these are honestly, these this draft box and this are some of the lowest set values versus purchase price that we have seen in a very long time. And a lot of that is from Wizards raising the price because of all the different things that they're doing. I mean, if you look at some of the older boxes that we just did, um, that's Grand Archive. That's Doctor Who. Here we go. Let's... Here we go. Woe draft, right? The draft box average of a hundred dollars from Wilds of Eldraine. The draft boxes were cheaper, were at cost almost a hundred dollars. They were like $99 or something like that. So it was actually higher than normal because the set was good, the value was good, and it didn't have all these inserts. So why was it so much better if it didn't have inserts? Um Another example here, here's March of the Messine set boosters. You can go through here, you can see 109, 92, 141, 148, 143, 170, 150. These are really high prices for set boosters. And when you get down here, you'll see averages of 110 for a set booster back when set boosters were 105. Now that they've raised the price of set boosters to 135, 125, it's... There, it doesn't raise the price of the cards. It just makes you spend more to get the same thing. And then when they do shenanigans like purposely make sure things like Cavern of Souls don't get pulled on a regular basis, um, it makes you not want to buy boxes. So all in all, I think set boxes are definitely better than draft uh, because the price difference between what you would make is only... My average is about 6 to $8 from actual purchase price before tax. So... Like I said, you might lose 10%. If you look at draft, 87 average with boxes being 100, that's, that, that's double that. And that's without all these inserts. So for me, um, I think you're better off not buying any of the product and just buying the singles. Will I drive the price of them up? Actually, I don't think so. I don't think there's enough people interested in Magic right now for these newer card prices to stay really high other than new cards that come out that are monstrous like this for Commander. All these other cards and these reprints like Cavern of Souls are probably not going to be that highly wanted because the people who play Modern and stuff like that already have them. The new people wanting to get into it aren't going to pay those prices. They'll just play a cheaper Modern deck. So at the end of the day, I like set boosters way better than draft. And I think they're better better value. However, if you ask me, if I would buy this set and invest in it, I would tell you no as far as draft and set goes. Next, we're going to hit up collector boosters, see if that'll change my mind any. So, till next time, be kind. Hope to see you across from the game table. Later, players. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to watch this till the end, but keep your money in your wallets and fuck wizards. Jesus Christ.